everybody. We are joined right now from Kino Sports Complex in Tucson, Arizona by Eric Williamson. Eric, what is up, man? It looks a lot different weather-wise down there than we're experiencing here in Portland. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice. I think, you know, we're upwards of, you know, 75 to 80 degrees and, you know, nothing but sunshine, no clouds, uh, unlike Portland. So it's, uh, you know, good vibe out here, good weather. And I think you guys are excited to be in good weather. Yeah, that unlike Portland hurt a little bit, man. I just want to let you know I felt that a bit. Hey, you and I haven't been able to talk since I think it was January. You were about to drive in to sign your new contract. So one of the things that popped to mind when I knew you were going to talk to us after training today is I want to know how has your life changed now that you put ink to paper and you've got the stability of that new deal? Yeah, I think, you know, it's it's come with a little bit of um... – you know, in anticipation with, with, with everything signing, everything, you know, finally being done, you know, I can, I can finally start, you know, making, you know, different life plans and, you know, things of that nature. But I know for the most part, it's just been a lot of, you know, focus on the field and focusing on the, on the now and which was, you know, going to Olympic qualifying and, and, and hoping to make that roster. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen. But I think, you know, now it's just being back in Portland, being able to focus on, on the season and, you know, CCL that's, you know, right around the corner. You know, you talked about making life plans, the stability that you alluded to there. One thing I like to ask athletes about is the role comfort plays in their life, because every athlete has a different opinion as to how uncomfortable you need to be to keep pushing the envelope. Where's your comfort level now, man? And how is that applying to the field? You know, I'm a little more comfortable, you know, being in Portland, knowing that my future's in Portland. Um, a lot of it was, you know, trying to figure out where's the right place to, you know, start start investing start doing those kind of things and you know having having the comfortability of being in Portland is massive but I you know I think you know on the field I don't think there's you know any any, any place to be comfortable I think you know we had a good year and I think it's one to build on but I think ultimately at the end of the day we know you know last year was one to build on not to you know say that's you know the best we can do because I think you know all around there could be improvements and I think you know it's making sure that I'm, I'm not getting too comfortable on the field and making sure you know I'm training every day like you know it could be potentially my last day let's shift focus to on the field first in a second i got one more question to ask about off the field when you get in that dog man when you get in the dog we're trying you know looking hard uh you know with with, with breed restrictions you know all those good things you, you play play a little bit of factor but you know hopefully in the next six months you know i have a little a little pup running around so kind of excited for it yeah, hopefully anybody that's known you through this time that's here in Portland wants that for you. Uh, that's the real big step. The contract, that's nice. Getting that new that new person in your life, that new dog in your life, that's the next big step. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. So excited to, you know, hopefully get that going soon and, you know, reach out to a few people. So hopefully it, you know, comes to fruition soon. Eric, talk to me about hotel life because the last time you guys were kind of sequestered together for this long, it was a long time. It was seven weeks in Orlando. But before making that trip, nobody knew what that was going to be like. Nobody had been in that situation before. At this point, how comfortable are you with this lifestyle of training ground hotel, training ground hotel? You know, it's, it, it's starting to become a norm. You know, we were traveling for a day at a time and then right back to Portland. But now it's, you know, 10 10 days inside of inside a hotel, just kind of, you know, not much to do, not much leaving, not much, you know, anything other than being around the guys. And we all, you know, love each other, but, you know, I, hopefully day eight or nine, we're not, you know, wrestling and getting, getting a little bit tired of each other. Now, when you first came to Portland, I think the fans and a lot of us around the team kind of developed this addiction to watching how much you guys were into playing settlers, Catan. How has your off-field activities, your group activities evolved over the last couple of years? What are you guys up to now? We're still doing Catan, um, but I think the main thing now is online. Um, we all downloaded the app, and it's been a lot of playing Catan virtually. Um, just kind of with, with COVID, we don't want to be in the same room, you know, touching pieces together. And I think it helps that they have a the game online. You know, I'm playing with, with some of the guys back, um, back in Mexico right now. And at, at the same time, you know, here guys are – as soon as you get up to the room to see if we get a quick game in. It's, it's, it's a lot of virtual and it's not, you know, as realistic as, you know, rolling the die. But I think, you know, guys are starting to get a little sick of the app of, you know, always rolling sixes. So, <laughs> Eric, let me finish this up by talking about on the field. I think one thing that guys were encouraged about after last year was the evolution in the team's style of play. And when I think about that, I start to think about how opponents are going to respond. What is the next step for the team as it tries to anticipate those challenges? 
We saw a lot of, you know, versatility last year, a lot of ways that we could unbalance teams, you know, hurt teams. And I think that's something we're focusing on this year is, you know, making sure that we can do that, but also find other ways to kind of hurt teams. You know, we're exploring other ideas. We're trying everything, you know, new things in training all the time, which makes it, you know, super fun. Um, at the same time, I, I think it's going to be really difficult for, for teams to come in with a, with a set game plan that, you know, we're going to try and, you know, come out and attack. You know, I think we can, you know, we can keep the ball. We can attack. We can, you know, hurt guys and counter. So I think our flexibility, our versatility that we have, you know, as, as deep of a squad we are, I think it's just going to make it super difficult for, for teams to, you know, contain us this year. And I think when those teams are looking, Eric, they'll look at the success that you had jumping between the midfield and defense lines, getting to the edge of the penalty box and either making decisions to feed people into the space in front of the keeper or scoring goals yourself. What's the next evolution for you? If they take that away, what trick do you take out of your bag to counter? I think it's just being being more aggressive. I, I think, you know, last year was a lot of, you know, assists, a lot of, you know, trying to make the final pass. I think if if I can kind of switch it up this year, you know, maybe try and attack a little more, you know, shoot a little more, then it, it could free up other guys and, and then ultimately, you know, have them the ability to, you know, switch between, you know, shooting and, 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 and passing will be massive for, for our team and our success in the final third. Well, Eric, I've kept you in the sun long enough. Unlike up here, you got to worry about the burn factor a little bit. So let me <laughs> let you get inside. But, man, it was really good to catch up with you. I hope everything's going well. Yeah, for sure. Nice to talk to you, too. Yep.